Hello! Welcome to another reading vlog. Hopefully this one will be better than last week's because last week I kind of really slacked on the vlogging but I just got really excited about my writing project and didn't really want to vlog. But I'll update you guys with where I'm at with my reading later. Right now I have some unboxings to do. So first of all I have a package from Indigo. Alright, so in here I got all of the 20th anniversary house editions of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So we've got Ravenclaw, which is beautiful. Slytherin, also beautiful. Hufflepuff, of course, beautiful. And finally, Gryffindor, which is once again beautiful. So these were a super great price online, so I decided to pick them up because they're honestly so cool. And I got all of them because I have no clue what Hogwarts house I belong to. So why not get all of them? Because I feel like I identify with traits from all of them and I've taken Pottermore quizzes so many times and I always get all four of them so who knows I guess I'm divergent. Next we have a package from Raincoast Books here so I'm gonna open this up. So this was all sent to me by Monica so thank you so much to Monica for sending this stuff to me. So first of all I have Reign of the Earth by A.C. Goggin. I'm not really sure how I would say that last name so I'm very sorry about that but this is a debut fantasy novel that seems kind of in the vein of The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier and it's all about a girl who becomes queen in a land where magic is outlawed. So besides having a beautiful cover this does sound like it's going to be a really cool book. It seems to have a very strong willed heroine. That's what a lot of the free reviews are saying and I'm definitely all about that so I am quite excited for this. Next they sent me a sampler of The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo which I'm super excited to have. I have actually read the finished copy of this book but I'm happy that I have this still because it's really cool and I absolutely adore Lee Bardugo. She is one of my favorite authors so I'm very happy that I have a little sampler of this. But if you haven't read this it's fairy tales from the Grisha universe and it is the coolest thing in the world. The illustrations in it are absolutely gorgeous. They like build over the pages over the course of the story until you come to like the final image. It was such a great read. One of my favorite books that I've read this year and I highly recommend that you pick it up and you just check out anything that Lee Bardugo has written. They also sent me a little chapter sampler for Renegades by Marissa Meyer which I actually got an ARC copy of it from work so now I have a little chapter sampler to go along with that. And finally they sent me an ARC of Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Bashardoust. 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 <laughs> Struggles. But I do actually have a finished copy of this but now I have an ARC as well. And this ARC is different than all of the ones that I've seen. It's from before they even had covers for it and it just says on the front you want this book. You need this book. It's just described as the bloody chamber meets frozen in this fantasy feminist fairy tale but it's supposed to be I believe a Snow White retelling and I'm definitely down for that. This actually came out in September so you probably have seen it but I'm very excited to have this and hopefully read it very soon. So those are all of the books that I acquired today and since I don't have the books that I'm currently reading right now on me I will talk about that a little bit later. For now I'm going to go and either read a little bit or write a little bit more. So it is now Tuesday and I was supposed to update you more yesterday but I didn't so sorry about that. But I'm going to let you guys know what I'm starting off the week with reading. So first of all I'm reading The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert which I'm really enjoying. It's very good, creepy, dark, perfect for October and especially what the weather has been like lately which is just cold and windy and rainy and blustery outside so it is just great for this weather. I'm about 130 pages into it. I don't have my bookmark in it right now but I believe I'm about 130 pages into it and I can't wait to dive more in. As far as an audiobook goes I was listening to Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray but I'm not really into it right now. I just don't think I want such a dense story at the moment so I think I'm going to be putting this one down in favor of picking up One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake which is the second book to the Three Dark Crown series. This came out recently and I've really wanted to read it and once again it's a dark novel and I'm just into dark stuff lately apparently but I'm not for sure that I'm even going to pick up an audiobook because I find I haven't been wanting to listen to one lately. And part of that is because I have been super obsessed with writing and writing stuff and preparing for NaNoWriMo very last minute. If you guys don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it's National Novel Writing Month, which is basically this thing where you commit to writing 50,000 words in a month. Though it's crazy! But a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to do NaNoWriMo vlogs and I'm going to be combining it with my reading vlogs because I don't think I'm going to be reading a lot. I don't even know if I'll end up picking anything up after this book. I just 
want to dedicate myself to reading stuff that is going to be pertaining to my craft and pertaining to my novel because I need to do this now. Being a writer and being a published author has been my number one dream for my entire life. I could literally pinpoint the moment when I decided I wanted to be a writer, but it's also something that really terrifies me because it's the one like lifelong dream that I've had. I would always set like short-term goals for myself, but being a published author and being on the New York Times bestselling list is literally the only long-term goal that I have had since I was in the fourth grade. So I'm just really afraid of not achieving that goal. It kind of terrifies me and I've always had excuses to kind of put off writing and stuff like that. Like I always would say, oh, when I'm done school, I'll participate in NaNoWriMo, I'll do that, blah, blah, blah. But I've been done school since April and I have not written anything. Not like nothing, but I've started projects and I've just ended up putting them down, but I want to actually finish a project and prove to myself that I can write a novel. So that's what the next few reading vlogs are going to be dedicated to is writing. So that's what's going on right now. I finally got my reading vlog up this morning, which is good. It just, it was not the reading vlog that I wanted to put up. And I was also planning on filming some videos today, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow instead. I've just been in a really weird place lately where I've had so many things that I wanted to do. So then I find myself just not doing any of them, which really sucks, but hopefully I'll be able to get out of that. But I'm going to try and help myself out a little bit this week and start editing my reading vlog as the week goes on, because then it is definitely a way smaller project and I'm not scrambling at the end of the week to get it done or the beginning of the next week to get it done. We'll see how that goes though, because usually that doesn't go according to plan. But honestly, writing and outlining and reading these books is going to be my priority for this week. I might make a little schedule for when I'm going to read each of these writing books and then hopefully I will be ready when NaNoWriMo starts. I don't know though, because I flip back and forth between wanting to use NaNoWriMo to write like 50,000 words of outline and wanting to use NaNoWriMo to just write the freaking thing. So we'll see how this goes, but I work in a little bit. I work in like an hour, a little bit more than an hour. So I'm going to try and write a little bit, read a little bit before work. It's Wednesday. It feels like Tuesday. I don't know why my days are all messed up, but this is way more fancy than I usually get for vlogging clips. But I was just filming yesterday's video. I did a bookshelf scavenger hunt, which was tons of fun. I really like doing it. I get very intense and competitive about that stuff. But I've just been having so much trouble with like filming and stuff like that lately so it's kind of nice to just film a video that was fun to do and I really enjoyed and it won't be too hard to edit so I'm very excited for you guys to see that and I'm going to have to edit it tonight slash tomorrow but I'm still going back and forth with my writing and NaNoWriMo because I feel like it's just way too last minute to do NaNoWriMo but I want to participate in NaNoWriMo so I'm just like I can't figure out whether I want to outline or whether I don't want to outline and oh but tomorrow I have the day off so I think I'm honestly going to try and finish the Hazelwood today and then I'm not going to pick up another book. I'm just going to like completely unplug, turn off my internet and all that stuff and focus on writing. So then I can kind of figure out what I want to do and just get it all sorted out rather than just being like, because eh, that's what I'm like right now. But I'm just about to go to work, which is why I'm in all black. I mean, normally I'm in all black anyways, but now I have a reason for it. So I'm going to go and do my job. Hello and happy Thursday. I have the day off today, which is very lovely. I'm super excited about it, but I also have one million and one things that I need to do today. So first of all, it's noon now, and I have been reading The Hazelwood all morning. It's taking me quite a while to read this book. It's not that it's bad. It's just, I think I said this in this vlog before, but it doesn't have a lot of dialogue, so it takes quite a while to read. But I have like a hundred pages left, and I really want to finish it, especially because there were a couple of really big plot twist that happened and I want to see the fallout from that but I have to edit a video and get it up today. I have to clean my room. I also have a friend of mine, a co-worker, give me a deadline for some writing today so I need to send her some writing. There were more things that I have to do but I don't really remember. So I do have definitely a very busy day ahead of me so I want to get some stuff done and then hopefully I will be able to revisit the Hazelwood later because I really want to finish it today since I'm so close to the end and it's really good and I just I want to get it done. So it is now almost three o'clock and the last time I updated you it was just noon and I was just starting to edit this. Well I just finished editing it. So clearly I did not get everything that I had wanted to get done done. But I ended up editing this video way more than I usually do. I ended up doing 
kind of some special stuff and I like how it turned out and everything but it definitely was very time consuming. So right now I'm going to I think either I'm going to clean up a little bit first before anyone comes home because they'll get mad at me if it's not clean and they come home or I'm going to try and write a little bit first because I'm supposed to send in my writing to my coworker for five o'clock and I haven't done anything yet so I definitely need to get started on that. But this video is just exporting now. I'm glad that I did the thumbnail last night because at least that's done so I just have to upload it and stuff but I hope that you guys like it. I think it was tons of fun and it was cool to edit. It was very time consuming but it wasn't too bad of an edit even though it did take me three hours to do but that's kind of what happens but I'll show you guys a little sneak peek here. Are you doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag? So this Look at that fancy editing. So that was fun, but like I said, very time consuming. So that took the better part of the day, which is why I only do two videos a week now, because I was doing that for three videos at one point, and that was actually more than once I was doing it for three videos, and it's just, uh. So that should be fun, and I hope you guys like the video. I don't know, you'll have seen it by the time that this vlog comes out. If not, I'll link it down below so you can go and watch it. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get some stuff done because I have been procrastinating and that's not good and I need to get on top of things. Let's go. Woo! I did it and started writing my first draft of my first book. I'm really excited about it because I sent it over to my co-worker who I know wouldn't lie to me. She would be entirely honest and she said she really really likes it which is like so exciting for me. I've sent stuff to other friends before as well and it's not that I feel like they would lie to me. It's just I know that my co-worker would be brutally honest which is exactly what I need. So I'm just I'm really really happy that she liked it and now honestly sitting here rereading it I'm like I want to cry because I feel like it's good and it's exactly what I want for this story and how I want it to start and I'm just I'm so so excited about it and oh my god I can't I can't even believe it like even the first line I'm super happy with the first line so I'm just like this is crazy so she wants me to send her some more stuff tonight so I'm going to continue writing and then send her some more stuff because right now I've feel like writing so I'm going to take advantage of that. Hello and happy Friday! So I was just switching out my winter and summer clothes because I don't have enough room in my room to have all of my clothes out at once so I gotta take out my sweaters because now it's cold but I was watching a Napoleon documentary while I was doing that like the history nerd that I am. I found one on Netflix and I was really enjoying it but then UPS came with this giant package from Indigo and I have no clue what it is so let's open it! Oh! They sent me so many books. I know what this is. So they sent me a bunch of titles from the Indigo Top 10 of the Year. So we have here The Sun and Her Flowers, which was number two, I believe. And I do already have this, so maybe I'll do a giveaway or something for it. They also sent me The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which I do already have, but the copy that I have is signed and personalized, so I'm kind of glad that I have two copies now because now if I ever want to reread it, I can reread this copy because I don't really want to read my signed copy and ruin it. But this was the number one book of the year this year which is so exciting it was so well deserved if you haven't read this book then you definitely should but I totally understand why it was number one book of the year next is the Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill and this one I believe was number four I'm trying to remember the stand at work I'm trying to like picture it because <laughs> if you guys didn't know I work at Chapters Indigo but set in Montreal in New York between the wars a spellbinding story about two orphans whose unusual magnetism and talent allow them to imagine a sensational future. This sounds super cool and it's set in the winter of 1914 and I love reading stuff that is in that time period. I love historical fiction and this sounds like it's going to be kind of a magical historical fiction so I'm very excited for this. Next is Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. This is number five or six. I don't remember exactly. The only one that I remember for sure is The Hate You Give. But one of my friends has actually read this book and I believe she said it's basically just about this hockey town. But this is also also the author of A Man Called Ove and I'm quite intrigued by the hockey town story. I've heard it's great for my friends so I'm down for it. And the final book that they sent me is Ranger Games, A Story of Soldiers, Family, and an Inexplicable Crime by Ben Bloom. This one I have no idea what number it was on the list but I do remember seeing this one at the Penguin Random House fall preview event and the blurb starts on the front and then continues on the inside. That's so odd. I've never seen anything like that. But it says Alex Bloom 
was a good kid, a popular high school hockey star from a tight-knit Colorado family. He had one goal in life, endure a brutally difficult selection program, become a U.S. Army Ranger, and fight terrorists for his country. He poured everything into achieving his dream. In the first hours of his final leave before deployment to Iraq, Alex was supposed to fly home to see his family and beloved girlfriend. Instead, he got into his car with two fellow soldiers and two strangers, drove to a local bank in Tacoma, and committed an armed robbery. Interesting! I am so intrigued. I'm trying to see if there was a note included at all, but all I can see is a cat who will not get out of the box. Oh, there is a note! There's a whole envelope. I totally missed that. Okay, so they sent me the top five. That's what's happening. So, number one, like I said, The Hate You Give. Number two, The Sun and Her Flowers. Number three, Bear Town. Number four, The Lonely Hearts Hotel. And then number five, Ranger Games. So thank you so much to Indigo for the surprise package. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to get to these. I've honestly been wanting to read more outside of YA recently, so this is kind of perfect since only one of these is YA, so that works. I feel like the Lonely Hearts Hotel is the one that I'm most excited for, to be honest, but I am excited for all of them, and I can't wait to get to them. While I'm down here, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. My hair is wet. That's why I was in, like, a little chignon behind my head, but last night, I finished The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I ended up staying up really late to finish it. I stayed up until, like, 1.30 in the morning, but it was really good. I kind of have mixed feelings on it because I'm trying to kind of wrap my head around the whole thing, but the mixed feelings are not between, like, a really low rating or a really high rating. I'm trying to decide if I want to give it a 4.5 or a 5 out of 5 stars. Hello! We have fancy lighting. I have books to show you. So, it is Saturday. It's a little bit later in the day. I have a Halloween party to go to tonight, which I'm not dressing up for because I don't like Halloween. So, I'm gonna dress up as myself, which is a Halloween hater. But I haven't really been doing any reading, so I don't have anything to update you guys with that, but I do have a pile of books to show you. So first of all, I got some books from subscription boxes. So first I got Wild Beauty by Anna Marie Micklemore, which came in the Owl Crate. And I have already read this. And then I got Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow in the Fairy Loot for this month. And I already own this book in an arc, but I haven't read it yet. So I'm happy to have a finished copy as more motivation. And then I got An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, which I'm very excited to read. And this was in the uppercase for this month. And I will link all those unboxings down below for you guys in case you wanted to check them out. In case you wanted to check them out. Blah, 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 blah. And then I went to the bookstore last night and I picked up some books because I was with my friend Zoe who has a bookstagram now, actually. Her bookstagram is at you're a book nerd Zoe, but she is definitely a book nerd. She's like the biggest Harry Potter fan that I know, and I know quite a few Harry Potter fans. She has two Harry Potter tattoos now, and she has probably more books than I do, which is saying a lot. But we went to the Indigo that is by her house, and they have a little bit of a different selection than we have at my store, so I got some stuff. So first of all, I got three of the Pelican Shakespeare editions, which I am slowly but surely collecting, so I got As You Like It, Henry the Fourth, Part One, which is the first of his histories that I own, and then I got Make a Bath. Then I got three YA novels, and the rest of them are just random really cool books. The YA books that I got were all on Bargain, which is why I picked them up. So first, Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White, Worlds of Ink and Shadow by Lena Coakley, and Black Hearts by Nicole Castroman. Castroman. And now the final three books that I got. I first got Mythology, Timeless Tales of Gods and Heroes by Edith Hamilton. This is the 75th anniversary illustrated edition, and it's so pretty. I'm so excited about it, and it just has all different tales from gods and stuff. Then I got Literary Wonderland, A Journey Through the Greatest Fictional Worlds Ever Created by Laura Miller, and this is like so cool. I'm super excited about this. It has all this stuff about the different literary worlds. I'm so pumped. And then I got The Annotated Alice by Lewis Carroll, but it is edited by Martin Gardner and expanded and updated by Mark Burstein because this is the 150th anniversary deluxe edition. And surprisingly, I don't own this yet. I've used it for papers before, but I just took it out from the library, but now I own it. If you wanted to know more about those titles, I will be talking about them in my next book haul. So you can check that out and I will elaborate a little bit more about them. Hello. So I'm being very on brand right now and only checking in with you again because I bought more books. But really I am updating you guys with my reading again because the first book that I got is A Book of a Thousand, no, Book of a Thousand Days, Struggles by Shannon Hale. And I'm currently reading this. I have not been reading a lot this weekend. I have been doing social things. What weird. So I just, I've, I haven't
haven't had the weekend that I was expecting. I had four days off in a row and I didn't really accomplish a lot, but I have been hanging out with people. So like, I don't know, but I'm on page 24 of it and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's an older YA and it really reads like an older YA, but it's not as old as it reads as. I just feel like Shannon Hill has very like classic fairy tale fantasy stories and I haven't read anything by her before, but I'm just getting those vibes from this one. And I also picked up some other books because obviously I had a gift card to be fair and I needed to spend it. So I also picked up Dear Martin by Nick Stone, which I will probably be picking up soon because it's super, super short. It's like just 200 pages. And then I picked up Girl in the Blue Coat by, where's the name? Monica Hesse or Hess, I don't know how to say that. And then I picked up Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. And next I picked up Zodiac by Romina Russell. And finally I picked up Blood of Wonderland by Colleen Oaks. So I picked up a lot of books that I have really been eyeing lately, not even just recently. I've been eyeing them for a while, so I'm I'm excited about these. I've also kind of gotten to the point where I really don't care how many books are on my TBR because it just means that I have a lot of books to choose from whenever I go to read a book and it's just kind of whatever. It is what it is and I'm fine with it, so that's really all that matters. But I have lots of stuff that I was supposed to do today, but I ended up going out again today and being social, which is weird. I actually went over to my friend's house again to help her reorganize her bookshelves, so we did that and I didn't really accomplish anything else today. So I need to get some videos edited. I need to clean my room for sure. My room's a mess and I need to finish switching out my winter and summer clothes. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do basically and we're gonna see if I get it all done. I'm probably gonna be up very late tonight, but it's whatever. Hello! I'm just wrapping up the week, which is going to be a super quick wrap up because I only read one book this week. So the book that I read, I also don't have on me because I can't find it anywhere. It is somewhere, don't know where. But I finished The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert and I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Other than that, didn't do a lot of reading this week, which is fine. I'm totally okay with that. But that is all for today's reading vlog. It's actually Monday morning now, so I have to go and shower and then start my next reading vlog. And if you wanted to watch that, then be sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. And you can also follow me on my social media. My Twitter is at Hales in Bookland and my Instagram is at Haley in Bookland. So thank you guys for watching this week's reading vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!